Let's compare Metrical, Hootsuite, and Buffer, the most common all-in-one social media tools that I've seen to see which one works best for you. Let's first address the elephant in the room. Yes, this video is sponsored by Metrical, but wait, 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 hear me out, wait, 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 hang on. I like Metrical. Metrical works for me, but this video is not about me. I know that this video is about you. And there are a lot of types of people out there that are looking for social media tools, content creators, entrepreneurs, small businesses, large businesses, social media managers, the list goes on. I know what I look for in a platform isn't going to be what everybody else is looking for in a platform. So I'm gonna put my bias aside. We're gonna equally compare all three of these, talk about the pros, talk about the cons, and simply just present to you all three options so that you can know based off of your needs which one is going to fit you best. Let's jump over to my laptop and we're gonna start with Hootsuite. Okay, Hootsuite says that they grow your reach and get more business with social media. It's connected to all social networks, all in one tool, that's what they all say. Manage your social media in one place. Ba, 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 ba. The huge. First and foremost, let's talk about pricing because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to know. I did see right away it said start your 30 day free trial. So automatically I know it's not a free tool. You have your professional plan for one user, 10 social media accounts, $500 ad spend for social boosts. Oh, you're able to use up to $500 in ads. Discover best times to publish. Access messages in an inbox, schedule in bulk, access to integrations, chat support, cool. So this is $99 a month. Prices are displayed based on annual billing. So that's how much you would pay if you took that annual billing, divided it by 12. So it's actually more per month. And you also have the team plan. Three users have a login. You're able to connect to 20 social accounts of this. Da, 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 da. That's their pricing. So let's start our free trial so we can start testing everything out. My name is Millie, Modern Millie. Don't look at my password, okay? Just don't look. So in order to test it out, you do need your card. Good thing I have my handy dandy card on file. Don't look at it. Okay, so zero dollars is due now, but I will be charged this much if I don't cancel. I could do monthly. So I'm gonna switch to monthly. We're gonna do monthly just in case. That way, when February comes around, I'm not charged the full amount. Let's start the free trial. So I originally heard of Hootsuite for Pinterest. Like I know it's such a big deal for Pinterest, like four or five years ago. And I'm pretty sure it was just Pinterest, but now it's connecting to all the social platforms. So that's really cool. I'm interested to see how this works. Let's add some social accounts. Well, let's do it. What's my TikTok? Oh, great. I'm already logged in. Yay. Instagram was the one that was the most pain in the butt, but I think that's common for any time you want to connect to Instagram. Inspiration at your fingertips. Beat writer's block with our catalog of English content ideas. Select a template. Okay, content ideas, we'll explore that. Hashtag suggestions, we'll explore that. Publish to both of them. Test, test. So I'm interested to see if it'll let me schedule a reel because I don't have a business account. I have a creator account and a lot of tools don't let you schedule a reel unless you have a business account. So let me write some keywords here to see if it gives me good hashtag suggestions. Um, how much content, oops. Huh. Okay, so you have to click on the icon. It's gonna be a reel in a limited amount of time hashtag suggestions hashtags nope okay hashtag suggestions are not working which is fine i like that it gives you time recommendations save draft okay well Let's me save it as a draft, but it won't let me schedule. And I'm curious if it's because I have a creator account, not a business account. Cool, so this is the dashboard now that my social media platforms are synced up. Reels, expand your audience. I wonder, inspiration streams, oops, planner. Cool, cool, cool. So you have like a good calendar view, which I like. And then you could probably view all of your content or you could view it one platform at a time, which is also cool. 
post status drafts. I just did a draft for Monday, but it's not showing. Okay, so while my video is loading, I wanted to like research what other people really enjoy about Hootsuite. And it says, is Hootsuite still the best? It says it's strong all around her, one of the best known tools in digital marketing. What's the most popular feature? The ability to schedule and publish content across multiple social media accounts from a single dashboard. To me, that's not like a differentiating tool. Like it's not something that other platforms don't have. And when I type in best Hootsuite blank, the top recommendation is alternatives. That was before I typed tools. So it's interesting that people are looking for Hootsuite alternatives. Now that my video is loaded, let's try to schedule. Boom, okay. Two scheduled. If I go to the week view, will it show me? Cool. Oh, that's a recommended time, that's cool. Great, okay, I like the week view because the week view shows me, hey, you have an Instagram reel scheduled here, TikTok scheduled here. It does say you can schedule as a creator account, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if they have any analytics and what their analytic breakdown looks like. Times to post, top performing posts. I wish it showed me my YouTube stuff because YouTube is like my main platform. So I'd want to see that performance. Let's look at my Instagram reports, Instagram overview. What if I want like all of these? Custom report, create report. Here we go. Average post engagement. Let's just add a bunch of these. Inbound messages, 70,000, woo. Page reach, post impressions, post reach, post reactions, video views, posts. Cool. We added all the good ones. There we go. Okay, adjusting the view of it, that's cool. By the hour. Wow, more people are on in the evening or the afternoon. That's curious. Post table organized by recency. I wish I could organize it by like comments. A reach. A okay. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I do wish it showed my YouTube stuff though. So Create a post, create a pin. You can do Pinterest in here, which is good. Planner, inbox. I'm not sure where this syncs from. I'm curious what the inbox management is, but they did have, they said they had templates. So let's look at those templates. Throwback Thursday, it's such a old <laughs> flashback. These are all very old to me. I mean, I feel like Throwback Thursday and Flashback Friday was very, 2019, 2018? No, more 2017, 2018. But some of these are pretty good. I mean, if you're really looking for updated stuff, you have a downloadable called 50 Reels Hooks. That'll give you 50 hooks for inspiration for your reels. I also have a downloadable that is 100 plus Instagram captions already written for you or templated kind of like this. So I think those are a little bit more updated. Anywho. I think I get the idea of Hootsuite. Before I give my thoughts, let's compare all three. Jumping over to Metricool. Again, I will try to be as unbiased as possible. I know I love Metricool, but aside for equal comparison, right? Metricool, analyze, manage, and grow your digital presence. Everything in one place. Plan your social media content, da 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 There's a lot of logos here. I feel like there were less logos on the Hootsuite end compared to the integrations available here. I'm curious if Hootsuite also connects with LinkedIn. I don't remember seeing that option. Uh, oh, TikTok ads, Google, Twitch. I don't know what that one is, but that one. So it does have LinkedIn. It does not have Twitch. Twitter, it's Twitter. Google, no Google. Google, there's Google ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, which is pretty cool. But I'm curious if it was Facebook, Google, and TikTok. Also, you can sync to Facebook groups. I don't know if that's different than just like Facebook in general, but being able to post and track a specific Facebook group, if you host a group, that's pretty cool. I don't know this. What logo is that? Can somebody tell me? 
Logo with three little thingies. Drag, drop, and go. Analyze everything. Create complete reports. The link in bio. Oh, link in bio. This one doesn't have a link in bio. That's pretty cool. Perfect plan is waiting for you. Thank you, McDonald's. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't know McDonald's would let me go. You hook me up with some fries. Thank you. Analytics, planning, ads, reports, planning. See the metrics that matter. Social networks, competitors. Ooh, monitor your competitor strategy. That's cool. Gives you optimal posting time, schedule Instagram, CSV report, use Google ads and Facebook ads. Okay, seems like there's a lot going on here. Reply to your social media message. Okay, there is also messages. So they both have messages. There's just a lot of things there. If you're somebody who just has like one account on each social media platform, you could just use the free one. But if you have like three Instagram profiles and three TikTok profiles, you're a social media manager juggling this business's stuff, this business's stuff, and you need multiple platforms or you have multiple platforms, then you would upgrade to probably Pro 5 because you get access to sync five accounts for Instagram, five TikTok, five YouTube. The more accounts that you have created online, the higher you would need to subscribe. But I only have one account on each platform, so I just use the free one. This is what the homepage of Metrical looks like. So as soon as you log in, it's your analytics. Gives you analytics on whatever you want, Facebook, Instagram. I have Facebook and Instagram connected as well as TikTok and YouTube. So I do appreciate the YouTube analytics right off the bat because I was not seeing YouTube analytics in Hootsuite. So if you're somebody who has a YouTube channel, this is nice for quick analytics. Of course you have YouTube Studio as well, but again, if you're looking for the all-in-one tool, this is what you're looking for. I will say, I believe Metricool is geared more towards businesses, small businesses, and social media managers for businesses. If you're an independent content creator or influencer that has a creator account on Instagram, you won't be able to auto schedule your reels. So that's something that I've had a lot of questions on on like previous videos because I've worked with Metricool a lot in the past and I can only schedule my reels through Metricool when I'm a business account on my Instagram. But if I'm a creator account, it won't auto post. But the cool thing is like now Instagram literally has the tool. You can go to your Instagram app right now and you could schedule reels to auto post within your phone on Instagram. But again, that's only if you're, if you're somebody who uses your phone. If you don't like to use your phone and you want to schedule everything on your computer, that's important to know if you have a creator account. With Metricool, you won't be able to auto post reels as a creator account. So just being fully transparent, that is like the only con, if you wanna call it a con. Again, every feature and tool that people are looking for is it's gonna be a pro and con either way. You can create a post here and I like that you could do it all in one. So YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatever you have connected here, you just highlight it and it's going to auto post for you. So you could choose, it's going to be a post or a reel on Facebook. I don't really post to Facebook. This is gonna be real TikTok video. This is going to be a short. So I could, when you're repurposing content, for me at least, I can a short form video that I filmed, upload it here and schedule it to auto post to Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts as long as I have a business account on Instagram. So it's literally in one tool. Whereas in Hootsuite, it was like, I can't do a short. Like if I wanna do an Instagram Reel and a TikTok and a YouTube Short, I can't do all three. So if you're somebody who needs to repurpose short from video, that might not be the best tool for you. But if that doesn't matter to you, then doesn't matter to you, you know what I mean? Let's see if I go to upload my video. Let's see, hashtags. Okay, cool. It gives you good hashtag search, which is nice. Content creator. I haven't tested the hashtags on here, so I'm curious. Cool, it gives you the counts and suggested ones. Let's look at TikTok the TikTok counts and suggested hashtags. That's good. What else do I need to know? I need to auto publish. Okay, here. If it's like, hey, why can't I save it or auto publish? At the bottom, there'll be a little notes. Video or short title is required. Okay, so sorry. So let me craft test. No, it's not made for kids. Perfect. So now I have it all selected Ooh, something else that's important these three dots you could upload your video thumbnail which like if you're a short form person at all 
Thumbnails are important. So you can choose and select thumbnails, upload them, love that for us. Okay. Oh, publishing here. So then I would schedule it for Monday. Does it give you time recommendation? I'm not seeing a time recommendation. So if you do need a time recommendation, I'm curious if it's somewhere else and not like while you're posting. So let's do that and we'll save. Save as auto publish. Again, I think my account currently is as a creator account. So we'll see if it saves. You also have the option. If you don't want to auto post, you can manually post. So like that pop-up that appeared, you can choose manual posts. Post successfully created, fantastic. Now when I go over, there's the posts right there. The icons tell me that it's these three platforms. Oh, this is where it tells you the suggested time. So you see here, these colors tell you how active your people are at what times. And what's interesting is for me, I've always thought my best time was like 9 a.m. or before. I always post 9 a.m. or before. And I thought it was so weird that Hootsuite suggested like, 1 or 2 p.m. because I feel like that doesn't usually work well for me. So it's interesting, an observation. It's interesting that they're suggesting two separate times, which this one seems to be most accurate for me based off of my posting experience with my own account. I feel like my platform or my posts perform best when they're posted at nine o'clock or before. Let's go to analytics. Oh, smart links. Let's check smart links. So this is the link in bio. So it's really all in one. Very cool. You could have your own URL, put that in your link in bio, draft up your everything. You get to select the colors, which is nice. Appearance, I'm curious. Ooh, yeah, you could change the appearance, which is important for me because I hate those like run of the mill stuff. And then, oh, if I go there and then switch the buttons, you can change the buttons, that's fun. Okay, anywho, back to analytics. This is the report that my team and I use every single month. So we go to our reports and we'll just download December. When I download the report, I can choose which platforms I wanna report on. I could do an entire summary, Facebook page, I don't need Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I don't need TikTok. I'll keep Instagram and YouTube and then we'll generate the PDF. And then it's gonna download an entire report telling me how my Instagram performed as a whole and individual pieces of content and how my YouTube channel performed as a whole and individual content. While that's in progress, let's jump over to Buffer so we can start comparing our final one. So the one thing I will say is I wish I could like update the branding to my brand colors, but my team knows we use Metrical, so it doesn't matter. So I'll just download this report and I would send it to my team in Slack and it shows me on Instagram versus YouTube, how many followers I got, Instagram versus YouTube impressions, Instagram versus YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Ranking of posts by impressions. So it's everything. Here at the network, it shows me YouTube versus Instagram, where it, that was. So it looks like YouTube posts just perform, actually these Instagram ones performed really well, so that's cool. Community growth had a nice skyrocket here, which is interesting on Instagram. Demographics, gender, age, countries. My Instagram analytics are here. Average reach proposed, interactions, based off of likes, comments, saved, and just general interactions, ranking of posts for Instagram. You also have links to go directly to those posts. Reels, Reels interactions, Reels ranking, Stories, ranking of stories, which ones were most interactive, etc., etc., and then separated YouTube. So you have the combination of the two platforms and then you have each one separated. Top views, published videos, ranked, da da da, and so on. It's not as, I will say, it's not as customizable as the Hootsuite one because you saw on Hootsuite, I got to choose like, oh, I wanna see this, I wanna see this, and I wanna see this. But for me, I just like, I wanted something that was quick, easy to download. Everything's already there for me. Again, this is a personal preference thing. If you're somebody that wants control over what your analytic dashboard looks like, Hootsuite's a great option. Metricool, I, not like I don't care, but like, I just want it all. I want it all, tell me everything that I need to know, download it as a report, send it over to my team so they can do the like 
comparing, okay, why did this video perform well and this one didn't? So I just want everything in one place and a quick download that I could send to my team. Let's jump over to Buffer, our last tool, and then I'll give my final thoughts. Grow your audience on social media and beyond. Buffer is the most intuitive, affordable, and authentic way to reach more people on social media. Buffer. Schedule your content, measure your performance, engage your audience, manage from anywhere. I've had Buffer for about 24 hours now. Ooh, are they about to turn my head? Am I about to get whiplash from Buffer? Let's find out. I'm not seeing Twitch. I do see Shopify. That is cool. I just saw Shopify on any of the other ones. Let's set up your account, shall we? Welcome to Buffer. This one also has like the inbox engagement management. I checked the Hootsuite inbox and it wasn't working or it wasn't synced to anything. So let me go back to Metricool, see if that was connected to anything. I've never tried to reply to DMs in Metricool because I do have somebody that helps me with DMs, but it connected pretty quickly, so that's good. You're on the team plan. Trial 14 days left. Okay, so it's great that it let me create an account without putting my card information, which I need to cancel Hootsuite. So I really appreciate that. You get to test it out before you pay, but it does tell me that I'll have to pay if I wanna use it. Let me check the pricing. They have a free option, basic publishing tools, and a landing page builder. Up to three channels. So if you have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, that's it. You can't do Twitter, you can't connect Facebook, you can't do more than three accounts. So you can only do three accounts on their free plan. You could only schedule 10 posts per channel. So that's interesting. But still, it's a free plan, which I don't think Hootsuite had. So if you're going for cost, here's an option. Essential, $5 a month per channel. Oh, per channel, $5 a month per channel. Interesting. So if you want unlimited access for scheduling, you pay $5, so that would be $5 for Instagram, $5 for TikTok, $5 for YouTube, at least for me, so that's $15 a month for unlimited scheduling, because you better believe I don't post just 10 times. Actually for YouTube, yeah, yeah, because shorts, mm. So I would be paying at least $15 a month to schedule as much content as I would want. But right now we're able to test the team one. So we're testing this $10 per month. That's what we're testing right now. Oh, this loaded. Cool, I can reply to content here. That's great. So it says you're on the team plan. Okay, homepage is your calendar overview. Love that for us. Content, I guess if you like get content ideas and you wanna save it somewhere, that's where it would go. Ooh, I need to connect, manage channels. Connect another channel. TikTok. Connect to another channel. Oh. Ex Excuse me, sir. Where's my YouTube? In case you can't tell, I'm a little speechless right now. I re How did I miss that? Buffer. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, they don't have the YouTube logo. Okay, Buffer, well, that's negative points for me, but again, this isn't for me, this is for you. This is for you, I understand. You might not care. You might not have a YouTube channel, which is fine. This is fine. So now that we have our accounts synced up, we're gonna start testing, publishing. Okay, pretend I don't have a YouTube channel. I'm just gonna make a post. I'm trying to be unbiased. Buffer is great. It is so great. I selected, in, it's on Instagram and real here. I'm assuming it's letting me, I'm uploading a reel right now. I like that you could select from Google Drive. That makes it easy. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm blind. I, I'm blind. Instagram, your update will be created as a post. In order to create a reel or a story, click customize for each network. Naturally, naturally I knew that. Finishing up, great, it's ready. We love that, customize. This is going to be a reel. Ooh, you get to like customize per, that's pretty nice. Okay, test, test. It has hashtags, hashtag manager. Ooh, you could create your own hashtag group. We love that. So you could like save your own hashtags. If you're looking for an Instagram hashtag tool, hashtag slayer, 
is the way to go. It's always linked in my description because I swear by it. Best one yet. Real, to post videos outside, you'll need to set up reminders. Reminders aren't set up. Okay, so this is like similar to how I thought Metrical was. Well, it let me schedule it on Metrical. So I'm curious if that changed, like creators can auto post now. I don't know, don't quote me on that. But it let me schedule my reel on Metrical. This one, it won't let me schedule my reel at all. It will let me set a reminder. So it's not gonna auto post for me on reels. It's gonna send me a reminder so I could post, which is how I thought Metrical was. We'll see, we'll see. So I need to finish scheduling your posts and then visit, set up reminders. This is a lot of work. Okay. Test, test, hashtags. You have hashtag groupings, fantastic. Add to queue, schedule posts. We'll do this. Will you show me my best time to post? Schedule. Okay, yeah, let me schedule, which is good news. I'm not seeing like colors to show me the best time to post though, which, you know, if you don't need that tool, you don't need that tool. And where did my post go? There it is, cool. It's separated, you can edit it individually. Fantastic, easy peasy. I should probably move all these to drafts <laughs> um, because I don't want all these actually getting posted on my channels, you know what I mean? So that's great. You could organize by channel. Cool, simple, simple content. Still, that's like your idea organization. Analytics. Good afternoon, total audience. I'm not gonna give minus points for that because sometimes it takes a while for those analytics to sync with an account. So I'm not upset about it. Individual platforms, that's better. So this is similar to Hootsuite where you could create your own reports. Let's add this to my report. It ranks these. Let's go to Twitter, no. I don't have a Twitter. Oh, where'd my TikTok go? Okay, TikTok's not here, but I have Instagram. Cool. And then you could rain, like put this up, put this down, export it as a PDF, and then it'll look like this, which is nice, love that. So I love the option that you could export as PDF because I do that a lot to share with my team. Customize that. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing TikTok over here, so I can't pull those analytics. Let's look at the engagement feature. Oh, nice. Replying to comments. Oh, you can filter by negativity. Interesting. <laughs> I don't really want to see negativity. Oh, I think this is a link in bio as well. So they, I think you can also create a, oh, this is a their landing page. That's what they called it. So link in bio as well. Cool. Let's talk final thoughts. So we have Hootsuite, Metrical, and Buffer. I feel like for Buffer, if you only have three social media platforms, you don't have a YouTube channel, then you could use Buffer. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I was really disappointed with Buffer. Like first impressions right off the bat, it was hard to not be biased because I have a YouTube channel and it blows my mind that there's no YouTube integration there. And then when I was looking at the analytics, the TikTok analytics weren't pulling up. So it looks like there's some room for growth there, but maybe there's tools and features that you saw that I I didn't because I have my you know perspective that you're like, no, Buffer is my tool. Fantastic. I feel like really the top two options are Hootsuite and Metrical. And what it comes down to, I think, is cost. If you have a budget to pay for an all-in-one tool, Hootsuite is an option. If you want a free tool that allows you unlimited posting, then Metrical is a no-brainer. There are things that Hootsuite had that Metrical didn't, and then there's things that Metrical had that Hootsuite didn't. For example, Metrical, you have your link in bio that you could create within Metrical as well. It let me schedule one short form video on all platforms in one time. So I could upload a short form video and schedule it to Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok with one click of a button. Hootsuite, you had to post to YouTube separately and then Instagram and TikTok together. So you'd have to do that in multiple batches and there was no link in bio. But Hootsuite did have that really cool customization for the analytics page and reporting. So if you're somebody who's very hands-on and you wanna move around analytics, you want to see that hands-on and customize it, that's a really good tool for you. Again, it is paid, so you do have to pay to use these tools after the trial. But if you're somebody, again, you, you're a business that has that budget, it could be worth it for you. Obviously, at the end of the day, we know my opinion. I think Metrical, if you are just wanting to test out 
an all-in-one tool, you haven't tested out any of them and you just wanna get started, everybody can use Metrable. You can try it out, you could love it, leave it, doesn't matter, but it is free. Not even like a trial, it's just free, period. So I will leave a link to Metrical down below. I really tried my best to be like not biased. You know, I tried to present each one, their pros and cons, and still at the end of the day, I have my opinion of which one I like and prefer, especially with somebody I'm YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are my main three platforms and Metrical seems to cater to that really, really well for me as a business and it's just a no brainer. And the analytic report, I love. My team and I love that thing, so. I hope this was a good deep dive into each of those three platforms so that you could see which one offers and which one will best work for you. A, I think if you're a content creator, this is gonna be a new series that is starting on my channel, bringing you the latest updates, trends, and news on social media. If you made it this far and you're not already subscribed, be sure to hug the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video and I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy, bye.